All right, welcome back, Helming Athletics. We're talking programming part two today. The first day we came out, we talked about more general broad brush strokes. What type of triathlete am I trying to be? How do I interact with my strength and conditioning and, and my CrossFit if I want to try that? Uh, the biggest issue that we see, and we talked about this last time, is when I add, add a lot of volume and intensity to one area, and then a lot of volume and intensity to another area to go together, we start to get athletes that get a little crushed, and we want to not get ourselves crushed. So we just always remember that the more I bring from one area, the more I have to bring away from the other area. And we have those big avenues. I said, generally, I'm right in the middle. It's most triathletes are somewhere in the ballpark of three swims, three bikes, and three runs. And let's be honest, are you really doing three swims, or are you only doing one to two? Maybe you should be swimming a little bit more. But we start here and we have something like two to three strength and conditioning workouts, I'd say that's the majority of triathletes out there. This strength and conditioning could be uh, TRX, it could be Pilates, it could be yoga or a little routine at the gym. Right now it doesn't matter, we'll get to that in a second. Am I more of a CrossFit endurance model? I'm using CrossFit as my base, all of a sudden this is going to be four to six CrossFit workouts in here and in here I'm going to see some other things it's not just weightlifting there's going to be some gymnastics there's going to be some running and some rowing so this is the bulk of my program and I'm only doing one to two swims one to two bike one to two runs but if I'm someone who's trying to be uh, an elite athlete I'm really trying to find and tap into my uh, potential as a specific athlete and endurance one then I'm going to be living over here we know that we just need more volume. We need more practice. Our swims are going to go to four to five. Our bikes are going to go to four to five. And our runs might be four to five as well, right? And this is more something that an elite amateur triathlete or, or an elite age group or elite professional triathlete is going to be following. Here, we see the drop off in strength and conditioning. They can only really handle maybe one or two. Why? Because the volume of what they're doing is already so high. Now, I mentioned why they navigate from one side to the other, and uh, you can watch that in the earlier video. But today, I want to talk about how we prioritize what we do in the gym. And I broke the gym down into a few different categories. You can see that right here. We have a few different things. We have mobility to start. We have some basic gymnastics movements, and I say gymnastics is anything that's a body weight movement, a squat, a lunge, a push-up, a pull-up, to our more advanced things. We also have any kind of barbell strength and conditioning work, and then this metabolic conditioning, which we see in the CrossFit world. Now, CrossFit has these all these elements in there, and it's constantly varied, it's all mixed up, and it's very good for building out our general physical base. And I made some comments last time that I interact with athletes as a coach all the time who are coming in who are dealing with some sort of injuries or there's just some inefficiencies in play and usually what that's telling me is that they're trying to get all the way up here in triathlon but their general physical base is a little short. They're missing some things. They don't really know what it is but they're having trouble getting going. Well, we spend some time on these other things that broadens their general physical base and then all of a sudden when they get back into the specifics of things, they're going a whole lot better. So that's the reason why I might, as I said, navigate from over here to over here, something like that. Or if I'm an elite guy, I might just add a little bit more strength and conditioning, take a little bit of my swimming, cycling, and running away, so I broaden this general physical base. But as triathletes, and especially if we're really trying to accomplish something in the triathlon world, we need to be specifically good at swimming, cycling, and running. So if I'm healthy and everything's going great, I'm living up here closer to the top of the pyramid and I'm only in here one to two days a week. And right now Kona is in a couple weeks around the corner. So if I'm someone who's getting ready for Kona, you know, my strength and conditioning workouts are going to be pretty light. I might come into the CrossFit gym. First and foremost, I'm just going to work on mobility. I've seen you guys, you come off of your four and five hour bike rides, it looks like you've been riding a horse for a little longer, you're a little stiff in the hips. Well, we need to open those things up again. Just increasing range of motion in our hips, our ankles, our low back, our shoulders, all these things, it gets us back to being a normal human being again. And this is what Kelly Starrett of Mobility Wad, we're here at San Francisco CrossFit, he talks about this stuff all the time. So the very least, I come in here and do a little mobility. Well, the next thing, I can work on some basic gymnastics. And this could be basic squatting mechanics. I could take that to maybe a pistol uh, and have a lunge somewhere in between to build up that single leg strength and movement and motor control. 
I could work on basic push-ups and pull-up mechanics as well. We have some different videos out there. And then once again, this is just helping me restore good shoulder pressing mechanics and function because when we ride a long time, we get into this rounded place, our shoulders round forward, our elbows start to flare out, and then all of a sudden we're gripping our bike here, and then our arms start swinging across when we run, and then maybe when we swim, our arms are crossing over in the water. We just need to get ourselves back here again. That's what we can do in the gym, a big part. Now, if I have those two things and I'm feeling pretty good, I can step underneath the bar. Basic squatting, front squatting, pressing mechanics, if those are really good. Diane Fu and I did a little uh, article uh, talking about Olympic lifting, and I did a season of Olympic lifting when I was competing as a Cat 2 uh, mountain biker, and uh, I was training 15 plus hours a week on the mountain bike. I couldn't do that much. I couldn't handle all the other heavy CrossFit stuff, but I could handle a little bit of Olympic lifting, and that made a real big difference in my season. It just added a nice complement to everything. So if I feel good and I'm skilled, I could do a little Oli lift program. And then last but not least, if I got a little extra in the tank, I might go for those Metcons. But as I said, I'm an elite triathlete. I live over here in this avenue. I'm gonna probably spend more time on the one and two and maybe the one, two, and three. Now, we flip things around. I'm that CrossFitter who's trying to dabble a little bit in the uh, triathlon world. Then I wanna cover all my bases here and really get into that world and, and hit my Metcons because this is going to actually broaden my fitness and broaden my platform for triathlon and granted maybe it's not going to be as specifically fit but that's not the triathlete I'm trying to be. I'm just trying to be able to finish one, have a good time, feel pretty good. So it depends on where we're at. Now if you're out there and you're curious about trying CrossFit and you feel like you're going to get a little bit crushed, think about these priorities. Where am I? What type of athlete am I trying to be? I want to come in and at least address some of these basic things. And then if I feel better or maybe it gets more to the off season, I can get a little bit more aggressive and go further down the list. So that's just how I think about this when I bring athletes in. I always want to give them an option. I never want to feel like a triathlete feels uncomfortable in the gym and has to go away. They can't play with us. We always want you guys to come play with us and, and get a little training in. So that's the deal. Check it out. Try it. If you have any questions, let me know. We'll keep the programming discussions going. I'll see you another week.